In this tutorial, let's learn about breakpoints. So we have a basic app here. Um, it's a list that has some debugging stuff. We can see we're just adding to the array mlist. We add the name stand, deb, mail, nate. If you need a refresher, look at my previous video on my channel. Um, and also I take requests, by the way, so send me requests and I'll make them. So we have a simple app here. So let's go ahead and go. I'm gonna hold down the control key and click on activity main. That'll take me there. And uh, we kind of want to forget about the, the uh, design view because we don't need that. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put a button here, wrap, wrap. Oops. We'll name that button. And text will, uh, not that. So there we go. I just reformatted it and just added a button. Um, this will we'll name this linear layout. This looks okay. Let me go ahead and go back to the design view. So there's the button. It's nothing fancy. So let's go ahead and go back in here and I want to name button, but, and then but, button there. Then we get a reference to it. So m button dot set, uh, no, not that, uh, equals find. So if you have questions about any of this stuff, I'll make videos. Just let me know what you get stuck on and I'll create a video for it. But um, so first we start, so we start in on create. So we do come to on create. Let me set, let me go to set content view. Then if you hold in the control key again, click on main act, activity main and you, it'll take you to the XML layout. You can see here's our button. It has an ID of button. And if we go back to our main activity, you can see M button equals the R dot ID, which basically just means it has an ID of something. So button is the same there as it is there. That has to be the same. You can change that to anything, but it just has to match the same in both places. So let's do something. Let's do M button dot set on, cl on click new on, just start typing it and it'll put, fill it out for you. And we're not going to worry about structure quite yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, actually we'll get this. We'll put that up there, out on a new line. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna get this text, and I'm gonna put it inside of the on click. So whenever M button, whenever it clicks, do, whenever it clicks, do this stuff. So that's what it's doing. I'll put some space here. Um, we'll get rid of that because we're not gonna. Uh, we will we'll leave it in, but I will remove the space. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, I'm gonna, well, let, let me just do something. So I'm gonna go ahead and see all the way over to the left where you have space next to the numbers and you can turn numbers on in settings, by the way, if they aren't on. But let's go ahead and I'm gonna click somewhere and it'll put a red dot there and it'll put uh, a line, kind of a reddish line over the line that I, I'll we'll do it another place too, we'll do two of them. No, three, well, might as well do all of them. Okay, so we have all of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run this app and I've already ran this ran this particular app before in the previous video. So let's see, let's me go to my emulator. I have my emulator up here on the, on the screen. That should take just a second to run, then we should see our button up there. So great, we have a button. And let's go ahead and click on it and see what happens. What happened? Ah, okay, so I forgot to do something. So there's a little icon up here called, and it's called debugger, attach debugger or whatever. It's that icon right there, I don't, so it's the one directly right above my mouse. So I'm gonna click on it now so you can see it. And just click okay to that. Now let's go, so it's gonna open up this debug panel at the bottom, and all this screen is for debugging. So let's go back to the emulator. I'm gonna hit the button again, then we should see something happen. So it's basically gonna run through the code. It's gonna start at line one, go to line two, line three, line 16, line, and it's gonna go all the way down to where it sees a red dot. And it's 32, so come down to here, and you can see mList, that variable name is the same mList that's there, the same one that's there, and the same one that's there. And it's on line 32, so that's where we're, and you, you can also tell the line is, the line's a little bit blue, that's how you tell it's on. So the debugger just allows you to tell, you know, you can look inside of this, uh, array. We've hit it a couple of times. I don't know, actually, I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the debugger. What it'll do is it'll show your variables. Oh, and press uh, it's F8 
on your keyboard to go to the next one. And it should be just adding to the array. Um, I, this isn't really a good app. Um, but anyway, setting a breakpoint will let you, uh, uh, it'll, it's, a, it's a way for you to debug. So as you can see, like when, I, when it stopped at line 32, I had that red dot there. The line turned a darker color. I could see the variable down here and I can dig into it to kind of see what it's looking like. So that's the debugger basically. It allows you to stop on certain lines. So I can undo that. I could add a new one here, mList.add for, uh, what should the name be? Hannah, how about? Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that, add that there, and I'm gonna go ahead and run the app and I have an emulator up already. So that should take a couple of seconds to load. So I'll just watch it load and I'm probably not gonna cut out the video. I'm cut out the timing, just too much trouble. But uh, okay, it ran, finished, no problem. And there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, gotta attach the debugger. That's something I often forget to do. So you run the app, click the debugger. Yes, just click okay. Um, it'll open up this, the, the debug down there. I'm gonna go ahead and click the button once. And you see here's mList, size four, and it doesn't, uh, yeah, so it stopped on it. So, so say, so it stopped at Nate. Why did it do that? I'm gonna go ahead and hit, but you can see how mList, the variable there, you just double click it to open it up. That's, it's the same, it's mList is, is the same variable as it is right there. And the reason it's stopping on there is because on line 36, I have a red dot there, which means stop here. So it's stopping there. So I, I can, if I want to step into it, uh, F8 button, and now you see it actually did that, and here's Hannah, and it gives you some more information, like the count, it's six characters. Um, but yeah, that's basically the debugger, that's how you use it, that's how you, and it can be useful if you need to know what a variable is, but it's like in the middle of your code somewhere. Just go to the left, click the breakpoint, add the, run the program, click on, click this button to add the, attach the debugger, and then you're good.